I think, in a way, I'm glad. It's it's kind of a rite of passage to every year you make something, you apply to Sundance, and you either apply to a lab or you apply to the film festival, and it's almost expected you don't get in. Um, and so it was kind of, I'm. this was the one year where I was like, really not expecting to get in and wasn't making the movie at all with that in the back of my head. Like in the group that was with me were a lot of people who have already had experience and were already in the field for a while, including the, the, the cast side. But the vibe was very much like, we got 18 days to be passionate and do and make a movie, let's just make a movie. And so when I got in, I was like, gee, it's, it's kind of nice that I got in now. You know, and not the years where I wanted to get in so bad I wanted to cry. You know, there were years where I would sob, like, oh, God, I want to get in. So, like, literally, like, I got to get in. I just got to get in. And it, so to me, I'm like, thank God I didn't get in when I really thought I had to get in or I would die. You know, thank God I got in the year where I made a movie to make a movie because the, the most important thing is to make your art, and that, that has to remain the most important thing. Hi, I'm Eric Wareheim. I'm Actor. Tim Heidecker. I'm Rick Alverson. Rick Alverson. Well, for us, we went to film school, and I, mean, I personally, probably Tim too, we wanted to be direct as our main or make make things. But going through the film school process, you know, you learn all aspects of it. And when we started creating short films together, you know, there's no script. It's sort of just happened kind of improvisation and over time we learned that if you want a producer to know where you're going to shoot you need to put it on paper somehow <laughs> you know that's sort of how we got into formal screenwriting we had done several sketches on our own small short films and the, but the first legitimate television work we got was to this sh uh, cartoon called Tom goes to the mayor which was a, a narrative it was a sh you know a narrative show it was a every week a, a story occurred and we had to learn very quickly how to write stories that had, although the show veered away from traditional structure all the time, still needed to understand it and make it work, you know, and certain tools that are absolutely universal no matter what you're trying to do that you have to learn and use when you're writing. Uh, my name is uh, Philippe Faladon, the director of Monsieur Lazare. Monsieur Lazar is the story of an Algerian immigrant in Montreal who becomes a replacement teacher after the tragic death of, uh, of the te teacher in uh, an elementary school. It sounds so dark, but it's not. It is not a dark film, it's a luminous film. Actually, I ended up making films by accident because I studied in political science and international relations. And uh, in, in the 1990s, early 1990s, I participated in a television show called The Race Around the World where they would choose eight young co contestants and have them run around the world alone with a SVHS camera making short films. So that changed my, my life, basically. And uh, today I've, I've made uh, four feature films in, in, in French and uh, in Montreal. And I'm lay making a living out of it, and sometimes I have to pinch myself. Uh, and I'm, I'm also script writing my films. I became a writer after this fact, and if someone asked me, are you, are you more a, a writer, a script writer, or a, a filmmaker, I don't, know, I don't know how to answer that. I think I'm more a filmmaker, although I, I can't see myself uh, shooting film written by someone else, although it's probably going towards that way because it's a long process. If you want to write a film and direct it, it's three years in the making. Basically, uh, what happened is I went to NYU to School of the Arts for Dramatic Writing, and when I graduated um, as a screenwriting, as, when I graduated as a screenwriter, I was shocked and appalled that frame line, or, or I was shocked and appalled that fine line uh, didn't want to read my script. <laughs> and um, I, I, I'm more, I was too impatient to wait to, it's not even that you don't get a no when you're a new screenwriter, it's that you might not even get your script read. And out of necessity of just wanting to create something, I slowly learned field producing and that's how I became more of a picture editor and then finally a director is uh, I just couldn't take uh, waiting around for someone to read something um, so that's how I ended up becoming a director um, I w and not necessarily out of necessity to control my own words but just out of necessity to, to suddenly have the epiphany that so many scripts just simply won't get read unless they're kissed in by someone already attached. And if you're a brand new s screenwriter out the gate, it's really hard to even get a, eyes on a script. So for me, it was more empowering 
and proactive to literally learn how to make movies than wait for someone to read a script. Uh, hi, I'm Christopher Ford, uh, screenwriter of Robot and Frank here at Sundance and uh, here with the uh, International Screenwriters Association. I didn't know I wanted to be a writer right away. I, I knew I, I loved movies and, and um, you know, coming up with the story was always a huge part of it. Um, I was even, I did some acting stuff too. Um, and then at NYU, I just, I fell much, so much more in love with the writing process and that area and just being able to use your imagination and solve problems and, you know, work the scripts. And then when it came to going to shoot it, it's like, oh, let those guys do it. Let's focus in on the, on the writing. Hello, my name is Mass. Uh, I'm the director of Teddy Bear, who is um, here at the Sundance Film, Film Festival in the World Dramatic Competition. And I'm here with the, um, the Screenwriters, International Screenwriters Association. For the most part, it started out by learning by doing, you know, just uh, writing it and see how it, how it worked out. And then, you know, hold the dramatic structure and reading more about that and trying it out and see how it worked. And so, um, and then later, of course, film school and stuff like that. But as I say, you know, you, 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 you can't learn about filmmaking you, without doing it yourself, you know, without writing, putting it, you know, seeing how your written stuff is, is transformed to the, to the screen. I mean, that's what you learn what the most of, you know? I mean, reading about all, all these uh, people and learning about techniques and structure and all that it can only help you a certain way or to a certain extent, you know? You gotta, you gotta see how it works in, in, on the screen, you know? Because we can, if you want to say, uh, when did I stop writing the movie and start making the movie, it's like, where do you draw that distinction? Like. Writing kind of occurs throughout the whole process up until your sound mix in a way. I mean, if you're, you know, or you can just change the word writing to making your movie. <laughs> and part of making your movie is putting down a bunch of ideas on paper that is going to be your, your blueprint or your sort of, your guide to shooting your movie. You know, I mean, I think we don't, none of us come from a tradition of, of writing a script and then shooting the script as it's written, you know, this, the script is, is, is like a, a jumping off point. It's like, okay, this is at least gives the producers some things to do to set up the day. Um, and, and helps, you know, it, obviously it's very helpful in us trying to imagine what the film's going to be, but... And it gives, it gives us certain boundaries and limitations that allow you to do something and work, work with them. And it, the, to be honest, that, that script, you know, the improvised nature of the shoot drew us to this project. You know, it's the idea of putting these particular guys in this room. I was like, this is going to be cool, what's going you know, to come out of here.